Welcome to another video. We're going to do a quick uh, case scene sketch. I've got my little tin filled with paints and my little A5 watercolour sketchbook. So I'm going to do a bit of sketching. I think I'm going to look over that way, but I might change my mind and look over that way. It depends, but uh, great view. Waves are quite noisy, so uh, great. I better get on with it, are not I? Wish me luck. Well, I hope I don't get knocked over by the waves. That's the main thing. Well, wasn't it? You'll make a lot of money out of that. What's that like there? That's all right. Look at this one coming in, lovely. Okay, let's get something in that sky, shall we? Just quickly. Be a bit mucky. So I didn't clean my palette, but uh... let's get that going up that way. I think so this is the casein paint. Just getting something down there now. Whoa! Hello. Scary wave just come out of nowhere, didn't it? Let's get some of this in. Whoa! Your reactions are quite funny. They're big. Look at that. Look at that beauty coming in there. See that? I reckon the next one's going to be a ginormous one. Next one's. This is going to be a beauty, look. Here it comes. It's building up now. Whoa, nice. It's got some nice effects already. You see where the it's running down here, it's quite nice. And this is blending in. So you've got the sky coming into the water. That's, look, that's looking nice actually. I might have to draw into that instead of painting now. Let me get my, uh, I'm gonna have to do another one in a minute after that. Let's put that there a sec. Which way up was it? That's it. Just let that dry a little bit. I'm going to draw into, into the lighthouse. Actually, I think that was going to be the horizon line up there, but I think I'm going to leave, put it down here now and just use that as part of the sky. So I quite like that. Let's draw into it. This is a water soluble Progresso Aquarelle uh, pencil. It's quite good. So it's like water soluble pencil. So if I draw into the, uh, we we'll use that as a horizon line draw into it like this and we can use that then the wetness in the uh, casein paint so this will be quite nice so we'll come out this is the lighthouse now it's over here let's see little island god Reevy island and that just runs up like that we can put some paint over this if we want to in a minute we just Let's just roughly draw this in. Like that. I quite like that. I'm not going to do too much more to that. I like it. I don't know what I was going to do. I might leave it. It's funny, some of it, sometimes these uh, sketches uh, sort of do themselves. That's like 30 seconds and it's, it's uh, worked really well. I quite like it. So I'm just going to put the, put the lighthouse in now. And then we'll do another one. Now we'll put this in here, look. So we drop that. We'll drop that onto here. Just add a bit of, bit of that colour into there so it's a bit more violety. A bit more with the ultramarine blue. This is a little violet colour now going on top of here. See this is where my eyesight's going a bit now. I can't really see what I'm doing there at that closeness. Let's paint over a little bit now. Just 
bit of painting over here. Not too much because I don't, I don't want to ruin it because I quite like it. It's got a good feel to it. Can we paint on top of that? I didn't want that to come out there like that. I'm just drop a few of these rocks into the water here now. Now I think something else I'm going to do, I'm going to I want to put some of this surf break in just across here something a bit lighter just breaking across here like that and here and some surf breaks we've got a nice little bit of area of white there by accident I quite like and that wave let's get that actually that's picked up that yellow quite nicely and that sort of gives us the colour of the wall colour of the sky actually we're going to drop that across the top now like this with the side of the brush we'll, we'll drag that across a little bit without going too mad because I like it how it is so this is where I've got to be careful I don't start fiddling now let's hint at that horizon line out there because it's is just a bit further above where the island is. I quite like the way that drops off but we do need to have something just behind it there like that. Shall we risk it and put a bit of blue into that sky? Just up there. Oh, my pencil. Pencil's broke. I'm going to just have to uh, sharpen that. Just going to put the date down. What are we? Tenth, aren't we? Uh, tenth. Whoa! Must be about eight o'clock. Call it eight p.m. I think. What Revi? Lighthouse. Nice. Ah, I haven't finished it. Just notice we've got to put a bit in here, look. Just a little scribble in there. And there's a little... Uh, there's a little thing there. Yeah, that's quite, I quite like that little sketch. There we are. So that's a little quick casing sketch on watercolour paper A5 I've spread out so we've got a double page it's around 8 o'clock in the evening as the sun's going down and I quite like what the effects that's uh, appeared randomly so I'm going to leave that like that and we're going to do another one then as well looking over towards St Ives I think Yeah, I think we'll do another one looking out to St Ives, which is just there. That will be really quite nice. So we'll do another quick, uh, another quick casing sketch looking the other way over there towards uh, St Ives going to be a quick impression of that and I want that over there it's also it's more of a greyer more of a greyer scene over there so it's a bit like that the water's lighter so I need to get some more light in the water but I want to 
of a little bit of the uh, sort of an orangey colour, but it's got green in it as well. It's really quite difficult. Just going to raise that up a little bit there. It's got bits of green in, but it's lighter than that, so I need to get that lightened up. Yeah, it's a lot lighter than the, the sky. Let's just lighten that off quite a lot. So this one is, uh, I'm already fiddling too much with this one. This is not going to be as successful as the last one. I don't think so anyway, but we'll see. Let's paint some ives in over here. Uh, we'll, we'll bring this across here with this small brush. Drone up there for watching us now. I wonder what the racket was. You can't get any go anywhere these days without being watched, can you? Quite frustrating, really. I think you found yourself a nice little quiet spot where nobody's going to see you, down, like down here on the rocks. And then you've got a drone hanging around over your shoulder. Uh, let's bring this, this is St Ives, that looks like Rosewall Hill is up here. And then that runs up that high area up there. Let's put a bit more blue into that. Over here. Something like that. Just going to put some buildings in there. This is uh, the town. So it's like an off-white type grey. I'm just going to randomly place these in. Let me that goes to about here and also then you've got some areas which have got like yellow lights popping up just starting to light up so we put a few of these in so these can just go in randomly not too many of them in just going to lighten this sky a little bit uh, wrong colour That's even worse. We'll leave it in though. That's staying in now. Let's get... I might put one of these waves breaking in because they start to break about here, so that's what we'll do. Let's try and put a, a wave in here that's sort of breaking the cross like that. Drag that loaded with water underneath so that blends in and the harder edge is on the top that's what we're going to try and then we can have a an idea of one behind that but a bit smaller and then do the same again so clean water loaded on and we'll use that like that now we've got a mix up we want a like a light violet colour where this surf breaks in here. We can have that bit like that. So we're going to use almost neat paint, I think, there for that. Got some nice colours coming out on the water now. That doesn't work. Let's get rid of that. If we flood that with water, we can we'll see what happens. Watch it run down. Let that run down like that and into there. And then we'll do it the other way, like that. Watch it run, see if it does anything like that. Quite a nice deep green in here, so I'm going to run that in through like that.
Now we're going to turn this back this way. We want to put some of this a bit more pinks and reds in there. Let's darken this slightly. Let's, let's get some of that red actually. It's reflecting that sky colour up there. Put that in there. And then we'll let flood that with water as well. And then we drop that like that, let that run in, run in that way. So that should come down and blend that way a little bit. And while that's uh, like that, now we'll get a few of the birds in flying around. Probably not a good idea that, so we'll get rid of them like that. What we'll do, we we'll draw them in instead. A bit more control. This is, these are the gulls flicking around here. like that that's worked well that's great okay I'm just gonna put a bit of a uh, bit more no oh, the lights gone out of the, uh, what I wanted I'm just gonna put some neat white which I don't normally use but it'll, it will blend with the colors underneath you see in these areas that's all I want as it comes through here Actually, I don't know if I like that tonight. We'll keep it in, we'll just scrape some off with that. That's all right. I think that might do. What do you think, Madeline? Huh? Yeah. Let's just write down 10th of September. Okay, 10th September, it is now 8.15. And that is looking towards St Ives. Uh, over that way there, see, and that's great. And there's lots of girls just flying around, obviously going off to for roosting. Take a shot of that, Madeline. All the girls uh, all flying around, they're going roost off to their island, to the island to roost, I would think. Loads of them flying out there, so I'm gonna put that down. Girls. Girls roost, uh, off to roost. On the island. That's what we've got. Quick sketch there, looking over towards St Ives. Casein. Yeah, another one, good fun.